James Wan weighs in on Aquaman's Trench spin-off director James Wan has officially weighed in on the announced Aquaman spin-off based on the sea-dwelling creatures in the film known as The Trench. Following Aquaman's success will no doubt be far more horrific than Super. During their quest to find the King's Trident in Aquaman, Arthur, Jason Momo, and Mira, Amber Heard, are in the middle of the ocean when their ship is attacked by an army of grotesque sea creatures. These are the Trench, an ocean tribe who play a significant role in the film. After it's discovered that Arthur's mother Atlanta, Nicole Kidman, married and mated with a human on the surface world, she's ultimately sacrificed to the Trench. In the film, that scenario doesn't necessarily go according to plan, but that's not to say the trench isn't a formidable foe. Now, they'll have a shot at showing off their menace even further in their own spin-off. After it was announced that an Aquaman spin-off film about the trench was in development, one has now officially weighed in on how the film might play out. When asked by film critic Scott Mendelson over Twitter about the spin-off, one replied with equal parts enthusiasm and ambiguity. He said, during the early stages of pre-production, I fell in love with the trench and its designs, and secretly hoped to explore this world furthermore. Now, in not confirming or denying this project, though it's still in the early stages of development. Already has writers, Noah Gardner and Aidan Fitzgerald have been hired to pen the script, focusing less on superheroes and more on a horror-tinged story and atmosphere. And, not unlike one's other horror films, it's expected to have a fairly modest budget, especially compared to Aquaman. Jumping off Mendelssohn's point, it's interesting that DC would attempt taking a page out of Wan's book when it comes to spin-offs. Both Aquaman and The Conjuring films are Warner Brothers. In fact, it makes perfect sense, productions, and considering the success Warner Brothers has had with the Annabelle films and The Nun, it was almost just a matter of time before the DCEU ventured on a tried and true path towards success. Though the trench are only featured in a small portion of Aquaman's nearly two and a half hour run team. They certainly made a large impression, seeing as they've clearly been struggling. It also makes perfect sense why they'd have made such a big impression on one as well. Considering that his background is in horror, from sword to insidious to the conjuring it doesn't require much of a stretch of the imagination to wonder why he'd gravitate toward these creatures, even if he's not the one personally helming the spin-off. Source, James Wan.